लगो आईज वेलकम टू क्वांट लैब क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक देर हैव बीन मल्टीपल डिस्कशन इन द व्हाट्सएप कम्युनिटी पैदा हुई दैट्स फ्री प्लीज ज्वाइन एट द लिंक विल बी समवेयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट आर आर जी विच इज रिलेटिव रोटेशनल ग्राफ एंड द आइडिया इज यू नो यू ट्राई एंड फाइंड सेक्टोरियल रोटेशंस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु आर इन टू मैक्रो स्टाइल ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग और हु आर इन टू ट्राइंग टू फाइंड न्यू अपॉर्चुनिटीज एरियाज लाइक वॉट स्टॉक्स टू पिक दिस इज अ गुड स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट नाउ ऑल ऑफ दिस इज एजुकेशनल आई एम नॉट टचिंग दैट द डिस्कशन अबाउट यू नो विच सेक्टर इज गुड विच सेक्टर इज बैड राइट नाउ वी कैन हैव अ डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट दैट इन द you know membership communities and all of that but this video is dumbing down simplifying the sectorial analysis space what is it essentially koshish karenge bataye ki sector analysis hota kya hai so when we have a, a market a stock market or an economy so different sorts of sectors hote hain and sector analysis is basically looking at the evaluation of all of them so evaluation ka matlab we want to see how they are performing are they performing good are they performing bad and much more importantly what is the future prospect look like for instance you know historically during covid it was down suddenly you know sorry it was up suddenly everything want everybody wanted digitization all of that so it had a good boost in the you know 2023 post covid time period and then that could be a trend or a sector which was growing alternatively you can see that you know past one or two year has not ha you know because of el nino and all of that the weather conditions were not that great so cotton could have taken a hit so agri businesses could be impacted because of rainfall impact how do we arrive at this insight is sab baat karenge but examples bata raha hu ki what does evaluation mean and you know what are really is uh, our different sectors and then you look at the different opportunities and risk so you have performance how are they performing what is a prospect what is an opportunity what sort of risk and this is used by uh, not just in trading community you will also use this to make business decisions and all of that what is the importance i think investment decisions sound guarding sound proofing uh, the conversations that we need to have before you start to make an investment so let's say everybody talks about diversification of stocks so how do you diversify somebody will say gold le lo thoda mutual fund le lo thoda you know real estate le lo thoda i don't know direct etf le lo bond le lo that's one way of uh, you know diversification but let's say even by mutual fund you somewhere go down the route of you know investing in equity now within equity if you look at the different categories that mutual funds have invested you'll find a lot of diversity so this is where it relates to risk mitigation i think uh, diversification by naturally is a way of risk mitigation strategic planning i think businesses leverage it for a lot of expansion and resource allocation for instance again going back to it example you know there's a lot of work from home culture nowadays uh, post covid some companies are trying to call back and all of that but uh, you know that those planning can uh, can be influenced by these sort of this and then also getting a lot of macro economic understanding what are the top 5 components in my view again this is breaking down the overall analysis the first is obviously the economy you have economic indicators like gdp interest rate inflation yes sab ho gaya but iske beyond market trends like demand supply dynamics and a sector performance for example india mein abhi consumption jo hai thoda slow hai so if you see uh, general stocks again this is not a recommendation like companies like nestle which are sitting on a lot of cash i guess uh, unilever uh, these companies have not been growing at that steady rate unka cagr thoda sa kam hai unke i don't know historical cagr se but this is driven by market trend its likelihood of changing is high so the consumer consumer the consumable segments could probably do a bouncing back again just an example we'll look at another example at later stage रेगुलेटरी ऑब्वियसली अलॉट ऑफ जैसे कुछ समय पहले एक दर यूज टू बी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कंपनी फॉर द नेम ऑफ इट आई थिंक इट्स इन गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री इन गोवा सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कसिनो कंपनी एंड वेन आई वॉज रीडिंग अबाउट दैट रेगुलेशन उनको कुछ जी एस टी का चक्कर था तो बिकॉज ऑफ रेगुलेटरी चेंजेस लाइक द वे जी एस टी हैज बीन चेंज और समथिंग लाइक दैट इट इम्पैक्ट दम सिग्निफिकेंटली सो इन सिंगल डे स्टॉक प्राइस इज प्रॉब्लम टैंक फॉर लाइक ट्वेंटी थर्टी और मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट आई आई डोंट रिमेंबर द नंबर uh but that's what uh, regulatory environment mean 
obviously competition when you do this kind of analysis you also look at competition sometimes two industries are always you know supporting each other or competing with this and finally technology like ai is a big disruptor right now types of sectors there's uh, you know multiple different categories of sector the primary will always be agri mining raw material they are like a primary sector secondary sector would be manufacturing and industrial production tertiary would be you know retail healthcare and finally you'll have knowledge based services information services so this is uh, you know simple uh, hierarchy if you see in terms of economic sectors and different sectors will have different sort of cycles different sort of demand patterns coming in like if and sometimes you know you can might get into cross as well like manufacturing if you get into automotive manufacturing it might be different versus two wheeler two wheelers in electrical category probably could do good so how do you analyze growth sectors look at the demand look for technology and look for government policies bahut simple hai jaise for example renewable energy hoga and we'll take an example for this challenges data it's very hard to find data across all of these sectors pulling them down together technique kaise hoga samjhoge kaise interpret karoge itna time nahi hota hai logon ke paas regulatory obviously uh, no no point to make their policy changes keep affecting yeah, everyone market is volatile economic shocks keeps on happening so this is one factor i think market sab ko reality check karate rehta hai and you know geopolitical reasons also drive a lot of this like do world do war chal raha hai world mein you know uh, elections trump uh, moved into us and all of that so these sort of factors also influence the sector discussions what are some of the tools you can be do basic stuff you know fundamental analysis business analysis seek low technical analysis to mostly logo ko pata hota hai matlab if you are listening to this channel i'm assuming you are a trader or a techie who has uh, started their journey uh, if not again technical analysis is something which is very important no and learning a little bit of uh, market research reports analyst reports and finally understanding data visualization and charts so i'm going to just take a one simple uh, case study and uh, just back it up so renewable energy is a very safe bet uh, now whether this is actually true or not for india is difficult to comment because globally given that trump is in going to be in power and he is not huge on renewable energy sector and his more business support this sector might not see a uh, you know i don't know favorable cycle in a short term like i wouldn't even say short term i would say probably mid term uh, that that's just my understanding and interpretation in india the it could be drastically different so what are the drivers there's a lot of climate change policies technological innovation cost reduction happening solar and wind adoption is very very high and we are switching to electric now electric is also discussion there's a lot of discussion about the downside of electric vehicles do they really share reduce the cost do they really uh, are they really cheaper but one thing is for sure the carbon footprint is lower uh, and that also has been question like you know people can argue ki kitna petrol ek car ko one year mein lagta hai aur five year mein lagta hai if you proportionate that with the bat the the amount of carbon required to build the battery it might do some proportion but again i'm not getting into the debate of whether electric vehicles are right or wrong the point is this is how you look at a very broad trend of picture of course Uh, this is just a example i have not looked at it a lot of data to support this and there are challenges in terms of grid infrastructure not yet very strong policy alignment not strong energy storage is a big big problem with us so that's how you look at a fundamentally uh, you know just saying that sector analysis kya hota hai so essentially if you want to conclude sector analysis is really vital you should uh, use it to make informed economic decision it can give you a good picture of macro and micro overall and you can look at qualitative finance and quantitative approaches as well to kind of understand it you can build very long term positions or long term strategies which are driven by certain sectorial changes and things like that but uh, yeah those those sort of uh, strategies can be put into it and this can also keep you uh, you know fundamentally updated on what's happening in the market pata rehta hai to acha rehta hai all right so that's a quick overview on the topic of sectorial analysis what it is i have done a video on rrg which i started a discussion so i'll just put the link somewhere here so if you have watched till this very video end watch this video
All right, bye-bye.